good afternoon everybody welcome back to the channel so last week I said that I was going to find the money to go and train with Ambition again at Hill Factor because last week's session was actually so brilliant I have found the money I have booked onto the session and it is now what time is it it's uh, 15.42 on Sunday the 21st of May 2023 shout out my cousin Lawrence it's his 19th birthday today happy birthday buddy um yeah it's time to go to chill factor session starts at five tonight so guess who's left late again hoping that there's no football traffic to do this hopefully we won't get as stuck as it did last week but yeah we're heading back to chill factor it's time for another training session with the fantastic ambition racing and this is let's go skiing slow drivers they are a pain admittedly this is partly my own fault for leaving late again I never learn do I I never learn so it's 1631 and I'm still not a chill factor yet and bearing in mind it took me a full 15 minutes to kit up last week so yeah that's an epic failure on my part guess he's gonna be getting changed at 90 miles an hour again um, but yeah, so as soon as, soon as I, I'm, I'm not too far away, I'm probably about five minutes, five minutes away, seven at, seven at most. So um, as soon as I get there, I'll literally yank all my stuff out of the car, race in, say hi to the coaches, and then we'll get changed, and then we'll uh, kit up. Either way, it's going to be a great session. Okay, I have absolutely royally messed up. Somewhere between doing my laundry this morning drying all my kit at record pace that's my thermals on my socks I've lost a sock so if you look at my socks now I have one ski sock and I've had to improvise I have literally put the two socks that I was wearing on two separate feet when I drove here I have had to put two socks on one foot I have absolutely zero protection against boots on my shin but I have not come all this way to not ski so yeah we have absolutely made a horrendous mess i've triple checked my bag three times it's not in there it's not in the changing room it's not with my skis so yeah really messed up so i've just wasted i was going to be ready for five but i've now wasted the time trying to get trying to find the stupid sock so yeah, I guess now we're just going to kit off and uh, pray that I don't damage my shin too badly. And now we're going to go for a little time lapse of getting my kit together.
Okay, minus one ski sock, but ready to roll. Okay, show me, show me rolling on. Yeah, exactly. So you can lean on me as well, just so okay. it's a bit more natural. That's it, yeah. Okay, I want... I, if, what, when you roll on, especially here, you're not pushing the hip into the turn here. Yeah. Because it's just ankle and knee movement. Yeah. So try and keep the hip high while yep. bringing the ankle and knee in towards me. Yeah. Okay, go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so try and keep the hip high while just rolling the ankle and knee. Hip high. There we are, that's better. That's the move. Yeah. So now can you see on the left side of your body there you've created a C shape? Yeah. That's what I want to see every time. Okay. okay? Yep. Yeah. Right. Ambition kids, super talented. They are the future of British skiing. So I'll have one more go at this with the GoPro and we'll lose the GoPro. two hours into the session yes my improvisation is working my leg has not got cold my toes in the non-ski sock foot have not got cold so my improv improvisation is doing okay i'll be so pissed if i've lost that sock i bought those socks at ski set in plane The only place it could be is either in the house, the boot, the car, or, well, I've checked the bag, so it's either the house or the boot, the car. There is no other option. Right, one more run with the GoPro.
Start higher up now. Start higher up. You've got it, you've got it in you. Yeah. You can roll up the ski nicely. Yeah, I was practicing with rolls, that's how yeah. I was waiting. Yeah, exactly. Just start higher. Just believe in yourself. Just yep. Be, just be quick. Okay. okay. Just keep, keep moving. Don't, yeah, okay. Don't, don't think about it. Yeah. Alright, thanks, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. That was unreal. That was just as good as last week. Like it was, it's just so good. You know, like I, I can't even put it into words. Really, like it's just amazing. Like these coaches are fantastic. They give me so much confidence. They believe in me. They know I've got it in me. And. Yeah, just brilliant. So I never actually got the GoPro out in the, again in the end because we actually did a timed uh, row it run. So basically how we worked, I, I learned how to use a timing machine today. Um, so basically you choose a number. So I chose 47 because that's like my favorite number. Um, so typed in my number, hit enter. And then the timing one times you from the second you go through it. And then the, um, the digital display at the bottom then um, tells you what your time was. So I averaged, I managed two 2251s, how I managed the same time both runs, I have no idea. Then I did a 2255. Then I straddled, then I straddled but and fell over but didn't lose a ski. And then my last run, probably one of my most spectacular falls for a while, and my brother will be sorry he wasn't there to see it. Um, so I decided to just go full send and really go for it. I ended up drifting out the course so I threw myself back into it didn't even realize I thought I don't know whether I straddled or whether I hit a bump or both next thing I know I'm flat on my back sliding backwards down the slope my legs go in the air and I realize I've only got one ski on <laughs> oh it's great uh, so yeah but yeah so, so I had to climb back up the slope and get it but um, yeah that was one of my most spectacular falls um, yeah but then no one can say I wasn't attacking it because Obviously, I've, I've gone flying and lost a ski, and but this is what training is for. You know, you, you can push your boundaries in training. You can really go for it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm stoked, absolutely buzzing. So just got all my kit here. Um, still haven't found the ski sock. I'm going to see if it's in the boot of the car. Actually, should we have a look? Should we have a look? All right, let's get the key out. Let's get the key out. Here's my missing sock in the boot of the car no which means it must be at home there goes the ambition racing van yeah these guys are seriously cool right anyway i'm going to load up the car i'm going to head home and then i'm going to go to bed and tomorrow morning i'm going to hit the gym but obviously i'll speak to you again when i get home i'll see you there Look what I've just found. <laughs> the missing sock. The first thing I saw when I walked through the door was the flash of turquoise. I was like, there it is. But you know how that's happened? I dried the sock on that radiator and then when I took the thermals and the socks off the radiator, I put them on there. It must have fell off when I was stacking the stuff. So, hey, at least I found the sock. At least I haven't lost it. So, that's... <laughs> Oh, that's okay then. I mean, it wasn't bad. Why is this not focusing? Come on, focus, focus. Thank you. Yeah, at least I found it. So, that just... I, I'm i so happy. Like, I, I just realised... I had a realisation on the way home. I've just been to Chill Factor for four Sundays in a row. I don't think I've ever done that before. But I kind of like it. It's... Uh, Chill Factor is very much my happy place. It's... The thing is... I've struggled so much the last sort of 12, 18 months that when I find something that makes me happy and just, I mean, ski racing, it, it training like that, it just makes me feel alive. It's, it, it's kind of hard to put into words almost, but it's a place I need to be. Like, yes, I have to use the petrol to get there. Yes, I have to pay quite a bit of money for the sessions, but, you know... <laughs> It's, for me, it's worth it because it just gives me that that sense that I need of, like, happiness and something to focus on. 
that's not to say I've not got goals. Obviously, I've got big goals, but just to being able to do this is it just feels good. It feels really good, and I could not be happier. And now I've got another decision to make because officially, as things stand, the next the next Sunday session for Ambition Racing is not until July 30th. One of the coaches was telling me they're trying to get some in June, so that will hopefully be some before then. Um, my next race will be um, on the 16th of July. Um, the rescheduled Eola GBR three and four races um, from the it was can the, the Glasgow they were meant to be in Glasgow but they cancelled. Um, so they've been attached onto two existing races, which on the, on the 15th and 16th of July. I've been told I have a prior commitment on the 15th, and it's, it's for the dance school, so that's fine. Um, so I'll be racing on the 16th of July, um, and then the next Ambition Sunday session is the 30th of July, as it stands. Um, but the coaches were asking me if I'm going um, to the camp next week. So they've got a camp over bank holiday weekend, so they, they, they've got races Saturday, Sunday, neither of which I can do, because Saturday I'm working... Sunday, I'm going to go to my first Pokemon tournament for three and a half years. Um, so there'll be a vlog for that. Um, yeah, there's um hint, spoiler, there is another new series about to drop on the channel. Um, of which that will be included in it. Um, so, can't race next Sunday, but they're doing training camp um, Monday and Tuesday morning. And, well... Bank holiday, obviously I'm off work, and as it stands, as it would, as chance would have it, I've actually got Tuesday off as well, because Tuesday's my day off that week. So, now, I'll have to wait and see, because it depends on several factors. It's, can I afford it? And, do I have the time? Because, we've got the dance show coming up this term. Um, at the dance school um, and we haven't quite finished the choreography for some of the numbers so obviously that has to take priority um, so I don't know I'll, I'll wait I'll wait up over the next couple of days but if, if I can if I can make it then great if 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 not then then it's okay I mean my skis do need repairing um, where I've tried to repair my skis myself um, last couple of weeks it's not held and it it, it is a shot core so I need the proper, I need to take it into, into Ellis Brigham and get them to do a full, full, full repair where they can get the uh, solder out and um, properly repair the bait, repair the core before they can, before they put the P-TEX on. Because the job I was doing just wasn't holding. Um, I mean, it's great because I've learned how to, I've learned how to, to, to P-TEX and wax my skis, which is good, useful skills to have. But I haven't got the kit to repair the core, so um, that's, they're going to have to go in. So that might be another factor with me not going to the camp. But well, you know, we'll wait and see. You know, it's um, I'm just I'm just I'm I'm just buzzing. I'm I'm so happy, and um, yeah, I want to go as far as I can with this sport. I'll I'll do what it takes, and you know, this this ski racing journey. Yes, I've come into it late, but you know, I'm I'm willing to put the work in and work hard, and you know. Racing at English national champs and British national champs. That's kind of the dream. That's 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 where I want I want to get to, to national level. So like at the moment I'm basically racing at local level effectively, but I, I want to get to national level at, at the very least. Um I will need a fist license for that actually, which will cost me more money. But I love this sport and it's it's making me feel good, it's making me feel happy, and I am willing to just keep going and put put the work in, put the money in and just have fun, you know? And I can keep making content while I'm doing it as well, so... Anyway, on that cheerful note, it is about time I went to bed. It's uh, 9.46 in the evening, um, and I do want to hit the gym tomorrow morning before I head to the dance studio to do some choreography. Uh, it's my long weekend from work, so I'm not in work tomorrow, which is all good. So, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Um, drop us a like, drop us a sub. Uh, if you want to follow me on socials, you can do so on Twitter and Instagram, at thisisneats. And all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.